What is going on YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about nickels. Now I know a lot of people have been telling you to hoard those nickels uh, because they're supposed to be worth more than face value. And uh, we're going to talk about this today real quick and, and try and figure out, get to the bottom of it. Should you be hoarding these nickels or should you be passing on these nickels? And I'm going to tell you what I think. Um, I'm telling people to pass on hoarding nickels and I'm going to explain why guys. Uh, right now, uh, as of, a, uh, I think it was 2016, the, the cost to make a nickel, uh, cost the U S government about eight cents a piece. Um, but the, uh, the actual melt value of a nickel right now is actually less than a nickel. Uh, as of today, uh, which is, uh, what is it? July 11th, uh, 2017, uh, the melt value for the copper and the nickel that's inside each nickel is only, uh, a little over three cents. You would actually be losing money on this. Now, let me, uh, let me go into further detail real quick here. Now, back in 2012, uh, they were actually... Uh, worth about six cents a piece so you would have been you could have made uh, what 20% on your money um, which is not a bad investment but here's the problem with that before you can melt these down guys they have to be taken out of circulation by the US government uh, until that happens you cannot melt these down and uh, we're talking about uh, we still have the penny which is uh, which is, uh, you know, they're still trying to get rid of the penny. And they have been talking about getting rid of the nickel as well because it does cost the government more to mint uh, than, uh, than the actual value of them. However, uh, we, we're still waiting to get rid of the penny, guys. <laughs> the penny is going to go first. And then you, who knows how long it's going to take to get rid of the nickel. You'd be holding on to these for a long, long time. Now, that being said, uh, right now the spot price... So let me let me... Let me Real quick, uh, each nickel has 75% copper and 25% nickel. Both of those semi-precious metals, they are worth money. Um, and right now they are at a, a low. And that's because there's they have plenty of copper and plenty of nickel right now uh, saved up. So the price is going to drop. Now, if for some reason the uh, their little stash of nickel and copper were to go away, the value is going to start going back up again. And it will. It'll go back up. At some point, it will. Uh, in 2012, we can look at these charts here. Uh, nickel was actually at almost eight dollars a pound, eight dollars a pound. So that's why you know they were worth so much uh, because now, I mean, if you look at the chart, we're right around four dollars a pound. So it's almost dropped by half. And copper, uh, let's see, back in 2012 was somewhere roughly around three dollars and seventy-five cents a pound. And uh, right now it's at about $2.50 a pound and then it's going up and it will probably go up guys because uh, it's going to cycle up and down and up and down. So anyways guys, uh, my advice to you would to not be to hoard the nickels uh, because you're going to, like I said, you're going to tie up your money. You know, you're talking $100 for a box of nickels guys. Uh, that's hundreds of, if you know, if you wanted to save any type of an amount of these you know, a big amount, you would be talking like hundreds and possibly thousands of dollars just to hold on to those. What I would be doing right now, since the penny is worth almost two cents a piece, I would be out buying boxes of pennies and pulling that copper, guys. That's that's where the, that's where you should be saving, you know, that's, that's what you want to be saving right now. Uh, and you can sell that copper. You cannot melt it down, however... You can sell those pennies and uh, double your money. And I've done it. I've done it before. I've done it a couple of times now. I've sold uh, copper uh, boxes of copper pennies for almost, you know, one, one and a half to, to two times their value. So that's what I would do, guys. Uh, be be really careful about saving nickels because it, it and it could happen. They could go up. But I think it's going to be a long time coming before uh, you should be really saving your nickels. Um, I hope this has been helpful and informative to you guys. Make sure you give me a like, subscribe, and share. Post your comments down below. What do you think? Do you think, do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Let me know why. 
We'll see you next time. And as always, happy hunting.